first day of Vlogmas and I'm really excited. So today I'm going to be doing a stage makeup tutorial slash vlogging-ness. So I'm going to walk you through my personal stage makeup tutorial and I hope you like it. So, I, so I'm going to explain Vlogmas before. So Vlogmas is pretty much where you vlog every day until Christmas, and I'm going to try very hard to do it, and I may miss a day, and if that happens, then I'll post two in one day, because we have Nutcracker Week, and that means very busy Audrey. So, but during Tech Week, I'm going to be doing Vlogmas, but it's going to be a Tech Week vlog, so like different days during Tech Week. So we have that Tuesday, and we have Wednesday, and then Thursday. And then we have an extra rehearsal on Thursday for school shows, and then we have school shows on Friday, and then we have like a little break, and then I go to Bible study, and then I'll come back, and then I have rehearsal and Aflac show. And then Saturday we have shows, and Sunday. So, a little too much information. So, Let's get straight on to the video. Let's okay, get guys, so the first thing I do is I get one of these and these, I got them at Brain Chess because I have two. And they're like, I think, I, they're on sale. I think I got like two for 14 maybe or like 20. So I start by doing this because, <coughs> sorry, I'm sick. Because when you get makeup in your hair. It's not fun. So I always pull back my hair and then I grab my makeup. So I have a couple of different things of makeup. So I recommend getting a little makeup bag. So I keep my makeup in there. And then I get my Jaclyn Hill palette. This is a really good palette for like nutcracker stuff. Highly recommend this palette has a lot of like good natural colors but it also has some like blues and purples and stuff and i'll tell you what colors i'm using i use a couple different palettes and this may sound weird i actually use highlight on my eyes because i like using highlight on my eyes and then i have a little caboodle and today i think i'm gonna organize my makeup for stage it's very important to be organized prior to doing your makeup for stage so first i get my little pup sorry you can't see me and i just or well i'm not going to use this cup too so first you get a beauty sponge and you wet it, and then while I'm preparing my foundation and stuff, I let it dry a little. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my eyes today because I like, I change it up a little bit every time, but I feel like starting with my eyes today. So that's what I'm going to do. So I have my Jaclyn Hill palette. I use this little Be Your Own Kind of Beautiful palette it has like bronzer and eyeshadow in it. And I also use a highlight palette. Oh, and I use an e.l.f. And then I also, this might sound a little weird, but I use eyebrow gel on my eyes. Because I feel like it does a nice little smoky cut crease type situation. So that's what I do. So I'm going to start by just doing um, this shade is and light, and it's just like a brownie color. It's this shade, and I just do that on my eyelid just to get like a good base coat, and it's a little bit shiny, so I like it. Helps make me look not as good. And especially like during tech week, I feel like you get a little bit heavier every day. 
because you get more and more tired every day. So it's kind of like you're trying to cover up your dark circles even more every day. Because trust me, they get worse every day. Or for me at least, they do. So then I'm going to use this like champagne-y color. This is faint. And I just do it on the bottom part of my lid closer towards my like eyelash line just to give it a little color. So the next thing I do is I grab my trying to look at colors. Cream side. It's this yellow. And I just do my little cut crease with this. I'm going to do my eyes in like normal speed, but I'm going to speed up my foundation as well because that's kind of pointless. Eyes, I feel like, for me personally, they're how I assist her eyes. Because like Nutcracker, everyone looks the same on stage, kind of. And like, eyes is how I really assess her eyes. So, I have this nice little face. I can't really see it that much on camera. So then I'm going to take my, it's hard to tell what it is because it's like smashed. Pukey. Why they name it that? That's a good question. But it's this shade. And I like this palette because it has a black in it. I don't use black this year. Last year we had to use a black and I looked like a raccoon, but that's fine. So I just put pukey on my eye and it doesn't look like puke. I don't know why they named it that, but it's kind of like that. So. Then this is the weird part. I get this. I get this and then I I'm gonna look up so I don't mess this up. You do like three dots and then you have to be really quick about it and you have to blend it out. And it just makes a nice smoky eye. And it doesn't come off. So. I like it. It doesn't look that good from camera. But like in person it looks good. So I like that. And then I go in with like a little bit of a darker. I use my elf palette for this. Go in with my elf palette. And this doesn't have names on it I don't think. I got with this little dark shade. So makeup for stage makeup, you really can differ what you do. You could use really expensive makeup and it would come out the same as if you went to a drugstore and got makeup. You just have to figure out what's best for you personally. And that's what you do. So for me personally, I like use a lot of palettes. But for me personally, I like to go in with more of an expensive uh, not eyes, foundation and concealer because I have really sensitive skin and this makeup still like makes me break out, but it's not as bad as if I didn't use it. I use Too Faced and I really enjoy it because it goes on really nice and it blends out nice and it just looks nice. So there's my eye. And it looks a lot more dramatic in person than it does not in person. I just realized I left this eye completely not done. So I'm gonna do it again. If you get two examples. I feel like the first eye never comes out as good as the second eye. And I'm still learning how to do this. I watched this on the Catherine Martin video. Like, 
the guy at Ulta gave me the wrong stuff. So having to deal with this. But you kind of do it more like the bone where your eyebrow is kind of. That's where I would go. Dang. So there's that. Okay, really you can't see this on camera. We don't know why. So then I get my brown again. And all this you can get at Ulta besides the Jacqueline Hill palette. You may be able to get it. And you probably could use like a James Charles palette if you wanted. Or you could use a normal like one. Or you could use like Jeffree Star. You really can use whatever you want. And you change out these colors and make it like, if you're not a dancer, maybe you could use like purples and blues and make it nice and pretty. And then, then I just do my highlight. Okay, so now I'm going to skip forward and I'm going to finish my eyes after I do my foundation. So I'm going to do this on time lapse. <laughs> Chin. A little bit here and then above my eyebrows. So that's where I put my concealer. So now I get a, and right now I kind of look a little bit like a ghost, but I'll assure you I won't look like a ghost by the end of this. So then I get my powder. What I do is I get this guy. Hit it. So this is Mary Kay Ivory. I'm very pale. So this is what I do. So I just do this and I tap it. And this just sets in your face because you sweat and you don't want your makeup to run so it just mattifies your makeup yeah just makes it look nice and not look ugly and this is the makeup that I do for most shows because I'm also in Rainbow Colors Dance Company, so I have to do shows with them too. And theirs is like a little specific, but not really. I do this one. I normally always do a brownie type of look and normal blush and contour. And depending on what it is, I will play with my highlight. So. I feel very mattified. Now I'm going to do my eyebrows because for me personally, I look like I don't have eyebrows from the audience. So I have to do them. So this is Anastasia Beverly Hills chocolate brow product. And then this is just like, I think it's, this is just an elf product thing. So first you, do your eyebrows in the shape that you want them, then you dip. And this may seem like really dark, but when it's in the pot, it seems a lot darker than when it's on your skin. And when it first goes on, it seems dark, but then you have to like do your eyebrows slowly and Trying to not mess this up. And I have darker hair than my actual eyebrows. 
So that's why I use a darker eyebrow tint so that it looks more like my hair color. Especially when I have like a bun, my hair looks like really bad. And for me, like, I'm not used to having dark eyebrows, so it looks a little weird for me. But, from someone who doesn't, like, know me, haven't seen me, or doesn't know my actual eyebrow color, they won't be able to tell. And you can make it as dark or thick or thin as you want. skip eyebrows. If you have like really bushy dark eyebrows, you clearly can skip them. I don't understand. One came out a lot darker than the other. And eyebrows are still a work in progress for me. I'm not perfect at them. I'm nowhere near perfect. Yep. When you like do the spoolie on them, it makes them a lot less dramatic. So those are my eyebrows. And you may think those are so dark. Yes, I know. But from the audience, or even like right back here, they don't look that dark. And I have to do them, so I'll have to do them. I need to do them. So Next, I get my Maybelline New York. This is a really cheap highlight, like contour highlight blush set. So, really affordable. I think I got this at like, I did get it at Ulta. I'm pretty positive I've seen it before at like CVS. So, get this. I'm adding color back to my face that I took away. Now, I already know color shows. I only do a little bit of eyebrow. But for Nutcracker, I go more heavily with my eyebrow. And like, I don't wear eyebrows normally, like at school, I don't wear eyebrows. Or even if I do wear them at school, they're like really light. Like, I don't do it heavily at all. And then you do like up here. And don't make yourself look like a clown, okay? There's a difference in a little bit of bronzer and a lot of bronzer. Now, when you sweat, it comes off. So you have to think about that. So, little bronzer. You're gonna get your blush, you blend it out, and tie it in. And I naturally have very rosy cheeks, so I to make me look like myself. I have to do more. So, I may come back. Sorry. So, just blend it out. And I'm realizing that these eyebrows are really dark. So, normally I would not do it this dark. And I will not do it this dark again. So, then I get my same brush. And I get in my highlight. And I would try to say, Audrey, that's not the right highlight brush. Well, I know. I just am lazy and don't feel like doing it. So, normally during Nutcracker, I will turn on my stage lights, or like the yellowy lights, and then I do my highlight. Because that's the lights, that, and that's what the audience is going to see, is how it is in those yellow lights. So you have to make sure that you don't look crazy in those yellow lights. And that's how you get a really good highlight, too, by doing that. So, now I'm going to finish my eyeballs. So, then I get my Better Than Sex Eyeliner. And I'm not going to chalk in this, or I will mess up. And I really should use a mirror. I don't know where a mirror is. So. 
I started the inside, you allow me a little loop. Sometimes it comes out right, sometimes it doesn't. Yep. And I have to wear finger eyelashes for at least Nutcracker. So, it'll be covered. And I find that they never look exactly like. I have figured this out through long, very long dedication to eyeliner. So now I get my lash glue and my lashes. These are the Ardell Fox Mix Professional eyelashes. And these are unopened. I just I think I'm gonna use old eyelashes so then I don't ruin the lips. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna be smart and not ruin the eyelashes. These eyelashes you can use about three to four times and then you're done. So I have this cool trick. I put gold on the ends of my eyelashes. So then they look shiny from the audience. I have weird logic. So, you get your eyelash, and you hold it here, and then you get your glue, and you put it on. Maybe I should do an eyelash tutorial as one of the days of Wildness, because eyelashes are very cool. So then, you blow it until it's blue. And then, I'm going to have to go up to a mirror to do this. So then you hold it and stick it down. I haven't done eyelashes since last film. When was it? Since like last Nutcracker. And these are really bad eyelashes because they've been used so many times. So then what I do is I get mascara. And I do my eyelashes again. So now I have false eyelashes. And I really don't like false eyelashes at all. I don't like them. They make your eyes feel weird. They make you feel tired in my opinion. For me they make me feel tired because I feel like my eyes aren't open as much. Same process. I'll try to do it in front of y'all, but it's kind of difficult. <sighs> ah! Sometimes they work with you, sometimes they don't. That one did not come out as well. And now, from the audience, no one will be able to tell. So then, put my mascara. And I brush. 
Schnäppchen. Da I fold the eyelashes. So cool. The next thing that I do, this may sound really weird and some people may disagree with my doings. I get this. Get my glue. Do like a little smudge like on the inside of my corner. And I tap. I think it really brings out your eyes, makes you look good. Especially like for snow and stuff, it just looks good. See? And you really can't even see it that much. So, I just think it looks good and brings out your eyeballs. So, the last thing I do, well, one of the last things I do, so I get my lipstick, and I cannot talk or this will end it terribly. I used to be really, really bad at lipstick, but it just takes practice. So then, you get your setting spray. This is Morphe. Close your eyes. And this just keeps it on your face. And now, you're done. Hope you enjoyed this Vlogmas. So thank you guys for watching Vlogmas Day 1. This was a Nutcracker stage makeup my tutorial. This is all preference. I preferably do this my go-to look. So yeah. Let comment down below what you want me to do for the next couple vlogmases because we have after this one we have 24 vlogmases left. So hope you enjoyed today's video. Like, comment, subscribe, do your thing. And I really hope you enjoy your holiday season and come see Nutcracker on December 14th and 15th. Bye guys!